Well, for the solar eclipse, we have crews in both Miami-Dade and Broward counties as well. So let's go now to local times, Christina Vasquez. She is live at Zoo Miami in Southwest Miami-Dade. I got to tell you, ladies, I don't know about you, but those mimosas certainly sound pretty good. Here at Zoo Miami, we have our glasses ready and we're keeping our eyes on the animals and come to find out we're not the only ones. We actually just spoke to some visitors, uh, the Tomlinson family. They're visiting here from Maryland. They came to Zoo Miami while vacation in Miami just for the express purpose of observing the animals during the eclipse. And you're about to hear from the mom of the family. She's originally from England and she says when she was a kid, they had a eclipse there and take a listen. I want to see how the animals react because that would be kind of interesting. I'm most excited about seeing the animals. Because uh, we, we've seen it in England before, the solar eclipse, and it freaks out the birds. Oh, that's so fun. What have you seen in the birds? Um, they think it's nighttime. After the eclipse happens, they just go crazy. An interesting observation, and she's wondering if now her seven-year-old son will see something similar here at Zoo Miami. Meantime, this is what Zoo Miami's Ron McGill told a national audience during Good Morning America this morning. They've seen some changes in the past. For instance, birds might stop flying. They might stop singing. On the flip side, you might have an owl start going, oh, hoo, 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 hoo. <laughs> You'll hear crickets maybe start calling. Fireflies may start to, to light up. Remember, the sun is the, is the clock for animals, so that's what gets them going. But it's such a short amount of time, and we really don't have a lot of data, so we don't know. And there you have it. So my local 10 photojournalist, Mario Alonzo, and I, especially this idea of not having a lot of data points over time, we'll be here for you to document what happens. We do have a tour inside with Zoo Miami starting at 2 p.m., which is just after it's that window is expected to begin. And we'll be roaming around and seeing what we see, how the animals may or may not be reacting and bring it to you. We've also asked the Tomlinson family, especially since she has such a keen awareness of that life experience, with the birds reacting to take some photos and videos as well. And you'll just have to check back in with us and see what happens. Reporting live for I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News. All I know is that Gatsby has been acting a little weird. Uh -huh. He was really restless last <laughs> night. I don't know if this has to do with the eclipse, but I'm blaming everything on the eclipse. Yeah, that's my that's my thing now. So <laughs> that's, we'll that's, see. Where we're, that's where we're going with it. All right. We'll talk to you later, Christina. All right. Turning out of Broward County, crowds will be gathering in Markham Park in Sunrise. And that's exactly where we find our news reporter, Syrah Onward. How are things looking out there, Syrah? Hey, Christy and Janice, quiet right now, but we're expecting that to change pretty quickly here at the Fox Astronomical Observatory at Markham Park in Sunrise. The volunteers cleared out as soon as we went live here. They are camera shy, but you know what they did? They left us alone with a $20,000 telescope. This is one of four telescopes uh, that people are going to be able to look through today. There's probably going to be a long line, so you'll probably get 10 seconds at each telescope. If you came out here in 2017, you didn't get to see this guy, their newest one that they had donated. Uh, just a couple years ago. So the all of these telescopes have special filters on them. Uh, so you don't have to worry about damaging your eyes. Uh, important to note that they're not going to have uh, eclipse glasses out here. So you have to bring your own. I brought my own and I clipped mine to my hair because I know these are a hot commodity. I don't want anyone uh, taking it. But let's take you to video now of the uh, of the last solar eclipse and so you can see you know what this is all about what we're uh, gonna expect to see out here there are a lot of clouds in the sky today so we're hoping it won't obscure our view uh, too badly out here in uh, South Florida but here at Markham Park uh, you'll be able to see it for free a lot of museums and other places are charging but you can come out here you can donate to the Amateur Astronomers Association I actually spoke to the president of the South Florida Amateur Astronomers Association here's what he says you can expect if you come out here today we anticipate a great deal of people. We have a couple of very good telescopes with very good solar filters on them, so there should not be a problem with viewing. You will see an image of the, a bright uh, sun and uh, just a little portion taken out of it. So the volunteers are setting up right now. They've got tents, again, four telescopes. We're expecting a lot of people out here. So if you come, you will be waiting in a line outside. So bring your sunscreen, bring your snacks, bring your water. Don't forget your eclipse glasses and hold on to them because we're hearing that a lot of places sold out, a lot of places giving them away for free, ran out. So bring your own. They're not going to have them out here. But again, if you look through these telescopes, they have special filters on them so you don't uh, 
damage your eyes, but it's going to be an exciting time to watch this 40% coverage here in Broward County if the clouds will give way. We'll see what happens. But we're live in Sunrise, Syrah Onwar, Local 10 News. I know she's very serious about the glasses. She texted me and said, Janice, do you have your glasses? Right. We've got them, Syrah. We are loaded <laughs> in the newsroom. We we're are good. ready. <laughs> and Syrah looks like the sun yeah. herself today. I know. You picked <laughs> the right color. We're saying we messed up today. We didn't wear our sunny colors. We should have, we should I, have looked I, like I that. I thought of that. I was like, yellow. I'm going to wear yellow today.